In today's video, I'm gonna show you a new toolset plugin that I installed into Adobe Illustrator. And there is a lot to look through aside from these four main tools. So let's get right into it. This plugin is for free on a free trial with an unlimited period, or you can pay $15 for the fully fledged license. I'm gonna show you at the very end of today's video, all of the plugins and how to download this plugin. But let's first look at the offset open path tool. This tool allows you to quickly offset the path of any object. And as you can see on screen, there is red text that gives you the real time instructions for specific functions of each tool. This is a running theme with this plugin and I find it really, really useful. Also, we can come into this menu here where we have precise control over the number of offsets and also the distance and so on. Now we can choose to remove the original path, which is very awesome for things like text offsets. And then also we can mirror the selection as well. Lastly, with this tool, there is a preference settings menu, which has some useful options open to you when using this toolset function. Since downloading this plugin toolset, I've really changed my workflow because of it. And this isn't a sponsored video. This is just something I came across and purchased myself, but I'm sure you're going to really enjoy the rest of the functions in today's video. So here we have more red text letting us know how things work. And just like the standard transform tool in Illustrator, we can hold down the alt option key to transform an object around the center point. However, one really neat option here is that when we perform transformations with this tool, we are able to see the exact rotation on screen with the red text. Also, we can quickly find the exact rotation of this current bounding box in the top drop down menu. This next one is for those of you out there which work with illustrations and use this program for drawing. So double clicking this stabilized pencil tool brings up this menu settings here. The curve precision will determine how smooth your curves are and the leader is a really interesting integration which you're going to soon learn about. As you can see, my cursor is ahead of the point that is making the mark, which does provide a very smooth and a very unique feel when I'm drawing. You can adjust this length depending on what you're drawing, of course. And just to make a distinction, let's make a curve with the standard pencil tool in Illustrator, and then compare that one with the stabilized pencil tool. It's not just that the curve is smoother and easier to generate, it's the overall feeling when using this tool, and it's really hard to put into words. It's something you need to try for yourself, to be honest. But yeah, as you can see, there's a clear distinction between the smoothness of each of the curves. Next up is the Tangent Arc tool, which works in curves and also straight lines. How many times have you wanted to make an extended line following the exact contour of a shape? Well, with this tool, you can select the shape itself and then hold down the Alt Option key and draw a straight line that comes away from the shape like so. It offers absolute precision and it's really easy to use. Also, however, without holding down the Alt Option key, you can make curve lines. Now these snap to 15 degree angles and so we can make one at 45, 180, 270 and so on. This tool ensures that it snaps to the original shape, which is really useful. And lastly here, I can use the straight line function again to connect up my paths. Do remember that everything in today's video is from one plugin download and we still have some more functions to look at. So here I have a stroke circle with 11 points on the weight. Now I can come into this menu here and I'm able to scale the stroke weight either way up or down with exact precision. Well, that's pretty neat. And here's one of the greatest aspects of this download in my opinion, and it's simple, but it's useful. I can actually fade or darken a hue with exact percentages. I have the invert option checked, which means it does the opposite to fading and it adds a shade. 
But let's deselect that and as you can see I can fade an object to whatever percentage I feel like. You can probably realise how useful this function is alone for your graphic design workflow. So like I said, everything in today's video I paid $15 for because I chose the full license. But I have spoken to the site's owner and he said that most people usually just download the plugins first, test them out for themselves and then they pay later if they want to. The free trial period is unlimited on most of the downloads to my knowledge. And you can just select the version that you need for your operating system. If you don't know how to install plugins, I do have a video on screen now which is one of mine that will tell you everything you need to know about that. And if you want to keep boosting your skills as a graphic designer, do subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.